Hello and welcome back to our regular expression course. This is match single character with multiple possibilities. It says you learned how to match literal patterns, such as this literal pattern here, and wildcard character using the dot. Those are the extremes of regular expressions where one finds exact matches and the other matches everything. There are options that are balanced between the two extremes. You can search for a literal pattern with some flexibility with character classes. Character classes allow you to define a group of characters you wish to match by placing them inside square brackets, which are these here. For example, you want to match bag, big, and bug, but not bog, you can create the regex uh, B, and then we want to specify A, I, and U because we want bag, big, and bug uh, to do this. The AIU is the character class that will only match the characters A, E, or A, I, or U. So we have let big string, back string, bug string, box string. Big, back, bug is what they're assigned. Our regex is only going to get A, I, and U. So get the B, uh, B, G in all of them, but only A, I, U. So bog won't be included in there. And we could see if we match uh, these, we will get big, bag, and bug, but not bog because there's no O that we specify within here. So use a character class with vowels A, E, I, O, U in your regex, vowel regex to find all the vowels in the string quote sample. Note, be sure to match both upper and lowercase. So this should be easy. We're, if we're uh, only gonna get A, E, I, O, U, we would put these within square brackets. Um, it does say to grab both upper and lower case, so we can do uh, it, I, ignore casing, and then G, I don't want to say that, but either way, we'll throw it in there. Uh, result, we're going to do our quote sample dot match, and we want to match our regex. So that should fulfill this, and we did pass. So as long as you're understanding, um, basically, uh, what this was, was we're able to grab or specify uh, within a pattern, as they did here, we want B and G, and then whatever is in between there, we want to be able to grab uh, a I U. Um, we could put O in here and it would also have grabbed bog. As long as you're understanding that, that we can match multiple possibilities, it's just kind of like, like it says, it's in between um, a literal and a wild card. It lets us uh, be a little more specific within our pattern. As long as you're getting that, you're getting these lessons. And I'll see you in the next one.